Now, one of the things that you'll notice is when you come down to the edit section, once you hit export, you have to wait a couple minutes until it is done exporting. It will give you kind of a notification that it's done. And in this case for the audio, as you can see, when I hover over the screen, it is now showing the download option. So this, if I hover over onto the video version, notice how that download option is not there yet. So that will show up once it is basically ready to roll. So my audio version is done. I'm going to hit download here and then go ahead and just, you know, rename it or save it. And now it is on your computer. And that is the file that you upload to your host. Similarly, you're going to do that same thing with the video version that you just edited. All right, awesome. As you can see, it just gave me the notification that my video version is done. So it did take a couple minutes, but let me now hover over the video just to show you. Wonderful. So this is what the preview link looks like, by the way, if you shared this with somebody. But once you open this, if I hit download here, I could basically download it to my computer, just like I did with the audio file. And if you are publishing and hosting on Spotify directly, you could technically publish from here. But you know, if you're not, uh, and you don't want to kind of deal with the hassle of that connection, I would just make sure you get the actual file on your computer and then go ahead and upload it to the host separately.